Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me again on another video all about candles. Okay, so today we're going to go into um, a real close-up on how to um, use the tools that I had showed you in a previous video um, in my candle cure kit. Um, this Again, let's talk about the tools. Let's talk about the kit. We have a candle cure kit. This is a close-up of the candle care kit. I don't want to get let's move this over and let's show you the close-up of the candle care kit. So this is the bag, and inside the bag you'll find these three items: the wick trimmer, the bell snuffer, um, and the wick dipper. Okay, so this is the wick trimmer, the bell snuffer or snuffer, and the, the wick dipper. So each item has a specific purpose and a job to do when extinguishing your candle. So, like I said, these tools will help keep your candles healthy um, and the scent burning strong and no sut. So you don't need sut in your candles. And as you can see, there's no black sut around my edges because I make sure I trim off uh, my candles before every burn. Okay, so the last tool we're going to use is the the wick trimmer. So that's the last thing you'll have to do, the first or the first thing you have to do after each burn. Okay, so um, let's start with the wick dipper. So here we go. We have a wick dipper. It has a curve at the end, and it's shaped like this for you know easy handling. It depends on how far and deep you have to go in a container. And there we go. It's very beautiful. I like I like the tool. It's very handy. So you'd hold the tool like this, and what you would do, let's get nice and close, is you would push the wick down into the wax, and it'll make sure it's lifted back up. And that's basically how you extinguish it. And you see how there's no smoke, um, and you still have a nice scent going from the candle fragrance. So what you want is to reduce smoke. Um, because you know how the smoke fills your space and it changes the fragrance, you know, the scent of your home. You don't want that. So um, the wick dipper helps you reduce that smoke after, um, from blowing it out or uh, maybe just using your finger or something. Um, this is a safer way to extinguish your, your flame. And the next thing is the, the snuffer. For most, some people that go to church, um, I don't know, Catholic churches use this or maybe some Methodists, I don't know. So, But I, I remember as a kid seeing a bigger version of these when they used to snuff out the candles. Um, so this is to, it, it, would, it, would, it would still cause smoke, but instead of you blowing it out, um, it's safer because you're using a tool. So this has a hole in it here and it has this part that dangles from it. So it helps you get far like if you have a really deep candle you can just you know position your hand so you can get as deep as possible um to extinguish that flame so what you would do um in order to do this you would have to cover the flame with this um the bell part of the bell part of the tool so let's show you how to do this hope you're getting a good image you just cover it and you can hold it hold it hold it and yes, you can see some smoke coming from it. And there you go. All the smoke is inside of here. And that's it. So it also kind of reduces the smoke as well. Um, in order to clean it, you just take, um, I'm taking a paper towel and I'm just wiping it off just to get it nice and clean and to remove any wax that may have gotten on there. Soy wax is really easy to clean. Um, all you need is some alcohol uh, and a paper towel or a cloth and you clean your products and it'll look brand new. So that's what the inside looks like now. So it does kind of reduces the smoke. If you hold it over the, um, the, the extinguished wick long, long enough um, and that's it. So I remember what I was telling you before about um, trimming your wick. So now my wick, my wax has been burnt. My um, candle has been burning for about an hour. Um, what I want to talk to you is about this 
sometimes it's bigger right now it's really small because i've recently trimmed it um you're supposed to burn uh, your candle for about three to four hours and after you burn that candle for about three to four hours it gets like a bigger uh black piece that's on top right and if you don't trim it you notice that when you light your candle it produces smoke so um you want to avoid that smoke because that smoke creates soot and it also like reduces the scent of your candle as well so what you want to do after after every burn or before before every burn so if you do it after every burn you don't have to do it before you burn the candle again you just do it one time um and it should be fine but one time every time you decide to burn your candle okay so right now um i'm gonna trim the wick um you hold it like this like a scissors and it's shaped like this because you can go into a deep container. So the deeper the container, the easier it is instead of using a, random, a regular scissors. So that's why these are being sold in candle stores because of the shape. It is designed for candles and candles only. And it's not really, it's not really sharp. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's sharp enough to cut the wick, but sharp enough not to injure yourself. So, um, so I'm going to show you how we do this. So what we're going to do is remove this black sut right about here. You don't want to cut your candle too low because if you cut your candle too low, it's not going to light. So I'm going to go and trim this little piece off right here. There we go. I got a little piece of it off. So that's what you want to do. Yes, it doesn't remove all the black parts of the of the wick but you don't want to get too too deep because you won't be able to have light your candle again or i'll just use a match since my battery died on that there we go and we're going to light so you guys get the idea um i had to my my battery had died on this so when the battery dies on this item it starts blinking you see that so now, see, it's not lighting up anymore. So I have a charger, and I'm gonna charge it up so it'll be nice and charged. But I did use my uh, matches to burn the candle. And as you can see, it's burning nice and beautiful and strong, but the weight, the um, the flame isn't too high. Thank you so much for uh, watching uh, how to use your candle kit to candle care tools with jam candles at home and again my name is jessica and i hope to see you guys next time enjoy the video definitely like share and comment